on the geometry list on the layers tab in the project manager we have user layers and we can click on geometries to see what form they have been imported are they properly connected and so on okay let's check first if the outer geometry is a single geometry because i can't see an arrow anywhere that could match that geometry okay click find button and select this geometry okay this is on this geometry and we see that the outer contour geometry is connected to one of the geometries in this case use the break command okay use the intersection of snap okay select this line and this line and again intersection of snap and select this line and this line okay okay let's delete the outer contour okay we need to break this geometry in this point so cancel the delete command and again break command ok intersection of snap select this geometry and this geometry ok ok let's delete the outer contour later we draw a new one the same and as one single geometry select delete command select and select this geometry and accept the selection okay let's now connect these lines into one closed geometry select join command and select these lines and accept the selection okay and we can see that despite the fact that we have joined lines into one geometry we still have two arrows this may mean that one geometry covers another again let's use find command and select this geometry okay and we have the second geometry hidden under another let's delete these lines okay and show this geometry okay as you can see after importing a dxf file you may need to edit it sometimes you have to connect geometries sometimes you have to draw some geometry or remove some lines so even you don't plan to draw geometry in alphacam it's worth knowing the basic functions that let you draw and edit these geometries. Okay, let's cancel delete command and now let's set the right directions and side of machining. This geometry will be machined in a pocket operation, so from the machine tab select tool directions and select ccw and inside and select this geometry okay okay and we can change the 
direction arrows for these circles and to quickly change the direction inside of machining you can click the left mouse button and hover over all circles okay and now all side and tool directions is changed okay okay and now let's draw a rectangle geometry rectangle and from this point to this point okay and let's set the material 3d set materials select the rectangle and as bottom z type in here minus 20 okay okay and let's save this file and save this as p3.dxf okay